Hello, Cobras, and welcome back to Paper Mario 64. I'm Dracula Chamberro. And let's talk to you. I can believe that Princess Peach Castle was here just a while ago. Wow, I was in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. Well, eh, things are bad. So, we're gonna hopefully take care of those bad things. And here we are in Shooting Star Summit. And transition to stars falling. Hope they don't fall on me and do six damage, because that would hurt. Looking for something? Drop by Mer Lovely's place. Okay. Let's get headed this way. And it's a nice little lawn and star and moon shaped stuff. And here is Mer Lovely with her Triforce. Oh, my, my. Hello there, Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune bed, talk to me over the counter. So basically, she can tell you about things. Oh, my, my. I first saw your rival. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh, Twinkle Star. Okay, fine. Yeah, you can read about star pieces, badges, and super blocks, which actually for partner upgrades, but I'm not gonna use that because why else am I getting 100% in this let's play? Huh? 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 Gotta say, huh, for every time I jump step? Goo Barrio needs to catch up, and then he suddenly. Oh, he actually did catch up, mainly then he got stepped behind the door. Poor Goo Barrio. Then he teleported again. I'm the famous Merlot Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces, I have the biggest collection. Mister, do you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap some cool badges for them. So yeah, already we're getting to the point where we can turn in our star pieces and get badges out of it. Attack effects A will change the sound effects when Mario attacks, so yeah. It doesn't require any uh, BP to use, but I like to have them around. I'll be buying all the badges from them to pay off all my star pieces, because this is where we use up them all, all 160 of them. And as you can tell, there's quite a few good badges. Power plus, so yeah, 25 things, and... Yeah, adds one attack power. Then there's Zap Tab and Peekaboo that I was talking about. See your enemies HP without Gabario's use. That'll be his payoff. The more something. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't really pay attention to it. And it's not gonna appear again. I was actually planning on buying Chill Out. Keeps you from being hit by a first strike. But oh well. I changed my mind. And actually, <laughs> I have another star piece coming up in a minute anyway. As we explore through a little bit more Shooting Star Summit. But uh, I'll probably just buy it off screen. So yeah. Let's just get going now, and I'm going to take the upper path, and the music is just so relaxing, and it's like lucid dreamy music. You could probably turn this on. And like, another video game song that I like to use to, like, make me fall asleep. Not quite Zelda's Lullaby, but Kakariko Village theme. Like, it actually kind of reminds me of Hallelujah, the... The sacred core, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Uh... I just continue and hop up the hills of the summit because this is essentially the summit right here. It's like a mini mountain of stars. It's like a chocolate cake. Oh man. I always like to have a cake with like cotton candy and rainbow flavor with like those star shaped sugar clump things. <laughs> and then, wait, can I buy this? He's an old star spirit. My name is El. His name is El Star. He reminds me of my grandpa. <laughs> he's a revered person who lives in Star Haven, a uh, revered star. Yeah, he's not really a person exactly. And I like how they say, thank the stars, even though they are the stars. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. So they'd be like, thank us. <laughs> We're the seven star spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish, for as long as we can remember Bowser's been making wishes like, for instance, I like to trounce Mario, or I want a Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars in your such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted, as if some of them were. Bowser that fiend, when he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. Seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and that terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the Seven Star Spirits to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. Let us get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help! Sadly, right now we are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven star spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... No, don't fade out on me! Alas, we merely exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like they're beside you, it's only an illusion. 
We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance. But even now, our strength is fading. You need to get a better router. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us in order to take Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach. We need your help. Oh, please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will... And they're gone. Mario looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Yeah, more things going on. And from Peach's point of view. <laughs> Mario's right, probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Bowser here to save the day! <laughs> my dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they treat us Koopas over the years. If you, you know, want anything, all I need to do is ask me, princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Beach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, princess. You better not cause trouble. <laughs> Come on, Cammy, you might want to take a drink of water or something. Or Koopa water. Uh, milk from an evil cow. Uh, please, if only somebody could help me. Huh? Well, would you look at that. Something that might help or harm us. Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. But you're, you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because of wish that somebody could help me? Yes, of course. Well, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? Uh, sorry. That's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Star Haven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry, please ask for something easy, something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't grit that wish either, I'm afraid. Come on, there's no fall damage, just jump! Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more swindled star, maybe I could actually help. Sorry, Twink, don't be sad. Alright, we'll definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink, think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Hold up. Wait, Twink. One second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that. I'm fine, and he should worry. Okay, can you tell him that? Of course, I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? Mario! Mario! Wherefore art thou Mario? Okay, back to Mario's side. Let's continue and get headed back to... Toad Town, I should probably go back to, uh, Marlo. Ouch! Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. I'm late for a very important date. Oh, it's you. You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. But you're among the stars, too. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Ah, oh, yes, here it is. This is it. Take it. Ouch, I could have bonked him in the head. It's a lucky star, star shape pendant. Let's use the action command, yeah? That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now it's yours, you can use the action command. Can I take a moment to explain the action command? No, sure thing. Let me explain. Let me see. You got new behind Mario. Would you help me demonstrate something? Me and the name's Game Mario. Of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Mario, let's begin. Yay, now we can beat up Goombario. 
First, Mario, choose the jump command and decide which enemy you want to attack. We'll attack you, Mario, but he's not an enemy. He's a friend enemy. He's a friend of me. Once you decide on the enemy, the exclamation of the thing will appear. And then you press A right before stomping, and you can do two things of happens. If you see not appear, that means you did it right. Okay, here we come, Mario. And here's the side for dodging. Yay! He would have done one damage and basically take one less damage. Normally, there will be certain badges that attack. Or, er, like, come into effect. Yeah, you do certain things. Move the control stick. Charge it up, and when he gets to the star, let go. Kaboom. You probably heard some major controller clackery. I like how there's just shooting stars just floating there in the background. No, I don't want to practice anymore. Yeah, hey, I'm a quick learner. Indeed, I am. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific, you'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are! Oh boy. What? Can't be? Were you following me? What a foolish star kid! I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Kamiku, but she'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come! Don't tase. Okay, so let's go ahead and tattle this Magic Koopa right here. This is a Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas use magical rods. Magic speed is 8 and attack power is 3, so that's quite a bit slow, yeah. But now that we have our action commands, you can kind of get it so you only take 2 damage. And with power jump, we do 4 damage, so it's basically twice as much. And avoid the PlayStation. Yeah, I'm not really good at talking that because it's like such a big range of stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much all the attacks with him. I kind of fell there. Oh well. We can show that Kimborio can do the double thing as well. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really practiced too much. I've only practiced through a little bit into chapter one. So yeah, I'm a little bit rusty from playing this game just right now. What a Mario, you're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. Yeah, I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. Not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her that you're okay. Well, Mario, I'll see you later. Uh, aren't you forgetting something, Twink? Yes, he is. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. Hey, that's not exactly what she said. I'm alright, and he shouldn't worry about me. That's what you should have said, Twink. So you lie. She's very lonely. I'll do my health to help you. Come on, Peach, you are Bowser. Or Gammy, if you're into that. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go back to, uh, Merlo and get the Chill Out badge. Oh, Mario! Merlin was looking for you. He was in the house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I'm just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric, even when he has visitors. It's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Yeah, you told me that before, or maybe it was not dope, I don't know. But, a told tell me nonetheless. Merlin is out! Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you, he's out! Looks like Mario's out now. What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute, the face seems very familiar to me. It's me, Mario. Oh, maybe. No, yes, it must be. You're Mario. Yes, I just said it even though I didn't say anything. But wait a few, you should cut him earlier. Come on in. Yeah. Enter him and his weird, interesting music. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I'm a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It's a long, very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on a shooting star summit, and as usual, but one day it happened suddenly. A great appeared, and I, standing face to face, in the faraway base, it was raised me up. It was amazing. I'm still so young, and I believed in but a hearts were, and then, so... Incomprehensive dots. And that is all that matters. Oh, uh, hey, Mario, were you listening to me? Of course I was, Marilyn. Don't doubt me. Oh, alright. So anyway, that is why I'm unable to help you. <laughs> if you get lost, or able to help you, actually. Yeah. You can come to me. I can break the path you should take for a small prize. But I know what all I'm doing. Yeah, we gotta go to the Koopa Brothers Fortress. So let's get headed to that. And it's over this way, but there's toads in the way. He don't want to go out there, it's way too dangerous! Well, going to Koopa Brothers Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go! Most of all though, you shouldn't go ask old man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us, I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. 
Um, I don't know, they're black, so they're a little shady. No racism intended. I'm not even being racist anyway. Come again, strange toads blocking the east side of Toad Town? That should be. That's ridiculous, such a thing has never been heard of, never. I'll go to the bottom of this, follow me over there, I'll see what's going on. Follow you? I'll beat you there with my sonic skills, spin dash jump, even though, actually sonic does use that quite a bit, but yeah, mainly if you're like doing a rolling kind of thing. Yeah, I beat you there. I told you, you can't pass, take off. Hmm, you aren't toads, are you? We don't know what you're talking about. Well, what gives? I see anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toes hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Looks like Merlin is in a thunder rage. Ah! Just as I thought, you're Goober Brothers. How'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks, black, yellow, green, your treat. For now. Oh, they're rounding off. All right, those imposters were none other than the Cooper Brothers. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Cooper Brothers Fortress. Right. Oh, Mario, this one part of your fortune I have been revealed. To get to the Cooper Brothers Fortress, you'll need help from a blue shell Koopa. Transport and envelope village. You might find something will clear it up. Yeah, I'm just like messing up reading overall. So now we can get headed and go into Chapter 1, Storming Koopa Brothers Fortress. And I'm going to let Mario Brothers play again. Just kidding. Let's just get headed. Okay, so, here we are in Pleasant Path, make a first stripe on a Koopa Troopa, first stripe, yeah, uh, if the Koopa Troopas attack, they just do a roll attack into you, and I think they do, nope, they only do one attack, probably, they have one defense power when they're, uh, upright, but if you flip them over with a plow block or a jump, hammers don't really do it, you'll knock them over, and their defense will fall down to zero, and I'm still not good at the action commands, but let's dodge! So yeah, that's pretty much the only new enemy that we got here in Pleasant Path. There, there are uh, paratroopers, but I don't think they appear until a little bit later, and not quite to where we're beginning in this episode. And let's jump at that and get Dizzy Attack Badge. Delivers a blow that makes an enemy dizzy and then it, able to move. Uh, but there is going to be a badge called Spin Attack later on that actually, uh, yeah, that was Dizzy Spin, Dizzy Spin, then Spin Attack would make you go farther on the overworld, and uh, basically, uh, I don't know, those things out on the overworld, that's pretty much all it does. But then Dizzy Attack would affect one enemy as you get into a battle. Yay, power block! And Koopa Troopa, no, stay away! Stay away! No, don't want to battle! And then make a bridge come up, woo, out of the water, and then it flips over and then it flips down, and yeah, 3D for 2D! And there's a hiding Goomba that is spiked right there. I'm just uh, avoiding all these battles. And you can't hide from me, sleepy sheep, and I really don't want you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan of sleepy sheeps. And then from this block, we can jump a few times and get ourselves some coins out of it, and it's really helpful. So yeah, that's cool and cool and stuff. Go down, get better than And then they're saying, look at me, maybe run a lot of bitch. Yeah, music plays and you can fill up on hearts. That's actually kind of helpful because I was low, but too bad there's not one for FP. Honey syrup. Uh, I do have an extra goom nut, so I'll get rid of that, even though I do have quite a few, uh, mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably, like, check them or something, like, keep only one in my inventory, because, yeah, I'll really start to use items for a while. And then there's three strange bots here, orders 1, 3, 2, and make this bad thing appear, which is attack effects B. So yeah, you already heard the sound effect for my initial hammering stuff, which was a fing fing sound effect, but then for B... Yeah, it's just like a So many cartoony sound effects. Let's enter Koopa Village. Can it be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. I should really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can you see what kind of madness is going on? No, because the camera's not panning. Fuzzies are here. Yes, I know what fuzzies are like, and I don't like them. Mean guys, they're really naughty. As you can see, yep, they're still in shells, and... Stupid Fuzzy, get back here with my shell! Yeah, I've gotta help all these Koopas out and get the shells back. We don't really have to help every individual one, but it's helpful to do such a thing. Yeah, I owe you one Mario, blah blah blah, watch your overalls. Yeah, you don't want them to get stolen. Yeah, many different methods of getting things back and they can't really get them stolen. It's not really like a thing, it's just like a little side thing to do. And this one just got his shell up into a tree. Ugh. I had a hiccup and made my throat and stomach feel weird. Does that ever happen to you? But yeah, 
I'm gonna go check some items here at the shop. Dizzy Dial makes things dizzy sometimes. And Volstrom, I actually do want to buy one of those. Okay, I'm sure this episode might get to give or take 20 minutes, but might be a little bit longer, because Kawiz! Chuck Quizmo's the name, and quizzes are my game! You want quizzes? I got them! If you manage to answer my brain best questions correctly, then yeah, 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 who? I'll give you a star piece. Wanna try quiz? Of course I do, Chuck Kawizmo. Then let's go to the question. Yeah, there's a total of 64 of these. Question. Was the name of Goombario's younger sister? Uh, um, um, Goombaria. Yeah. Bing, 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 bing. An audience. Correct. And Luigi's in the audience. Yeah, it's like kind of a precursor to what Thousand Year Door's like. And yeah, you can get star pieces out of this, and as I said, there's a total of 64. That's one question out of 64. So long, farewell, until we meet again. Blah blah blah, singing. No oh boy. It's a Koopa Leaf for stores 3 HP. Okay, now is when I'm going to end this episode of Paper Mario off here, so until the next one where we take care of this fuzzy problem, do not toast yourself.